Hey, what's up guys? It's Preston here, and I'll bring you guys another Swarm with Every Gun series, and uh, this episode, we're gonna be using the Scar H, so just in case you guys are new to the channel, and you just subscribed recently, or you, you didn't see the previous episodes, what I'm doing in this series is just getting a Swarm with all the guns in the game, but I'm not using any other score streaks except for the Swarm, and you can see in the bottom right hand corner, all I have is the Swarm score streak selected, and I'm not playing any type of, uh, you know, like, uh, objective based game type so like if I played kill confirmed or domination you know capping a flag is 200 points the dog tags 100 points so getting the swarm would be really easy but if I do play this game types I'll most likely just you know ignore the objective if let's say I uh if I play domination I would just go like you know get 19 kills and bam be done but anyway so this one's in team deathmatch using the scar h and this gun is seriously becoming like one of my favorite assault rifles in the game I uploaded yesterday a best class setup with the AN94 and you know the AN94, it's a great gun. I really do enjoy it. But the Scar H, I mean, even in Modern Warfare 3, there's just something about this gun from Modern Warfare 2 when they first put it in the game that just made it awesome. I don't know. I like the iron sights on this gun. I mean, this gun, if you put a red dot sight on it, that's like, that's like, I don't know, burning a church down. That, like, that should be illegal, man. I th I'm pretty sure burning a church down is illegal. But, I mean, putting a red dot sight on the Scar H has to be illegal in some country somewhere out there. You just, you don't put, you don't mess with a good thing. Thing, man and if you put a red dot side on this you're messing with a good thing so don't do that don't be that guy that puts a red dot side in this car but I think is what I'm using on this gun is uh, I, I believe I'm using silencer and fast mag somebody corrected me yesterday okay in my my class setup video I said oh yeah you should use quick mags and they're like it's not quick mags Preston it's fast mags why can't you get that right and I'm just I'm a little bit of a silly guy okay I get things wrong all the time Believe me, it's it's pretty bad. Anyway, so I think I have fast mags and uh, no 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 excuse me I don't have fast mags I have stock on that's it I really I don't think I use any assault rifle that like I will never use an assault rifle in this game without using stock on it I'm just so used to stalker for Modern Warfare 3 that I have to use stock I just I love that thing man and the silencer really I don't think it's that good in this game on the scar. I would much rather, you know, say, hey, go with fast mags, because fast mags are great on the SCAR. You reload really slow with this gun, and even though it's really powerful, you know, fast mags still really help out a lot, and I would definitely recommend putting on fast mags, but, you know, since I'm trying to get, you know, 19 kills in a row without dying and I have no score streaks, that is why I am going with only, you know, that's why I'm going with the silencer. Otherwise, I recommend against the silencer. Silencer makes the gun feel kind of goofy. You know, I'm not really a big fan of silencers. I just, I feel like a lot of people use the silencers in this game because they want to, I don't know, have less recoil on their gun. And that's not the case, it feels like, in Black Ops 2. For me, I still have, like, the same recoil with or without the silencer. I just like the fact that I'm not showing up on the enemy's radar. And I found out a series that I want to do after I finish the Swarm with Every Gun series. I'm going to do the Nuclear Metal with Every Gun series. So if you guys didn't know, if you get, like, 30 gun streaks in a game, and look at these guys, I think they're... Oh, this guy's going crazy, man. He's like, he's raging about this map. Honestly, this map is growing on me. I, I actually enjoy it. I, at first, I, like, I hated this map. I voted drone every time, you know, voted against it. But now, I don't know. It's, it's not that bad. It depends. Like, if there's a lot of camping snipers, I think this is a good game. Um, or this is a good map on TDM and stuff. But if you're playing this on Domination, I can see why that's so frustrating. Because most of the time, you have, like, a bunch of campers sitting in the back of those rocks. Or, like, on the, you know, the helo pad. And they just sit there camping. And it's, yeah, that's no fun. But on Team Deathmatch, or Kill Confirm, this is actually a pretty fun map anyways we're getting sidetracked over here so I want to do like the nuclear metal with every gun series but is what I'm gonna do to make it even more hard I'm gonna do it just like I do with the swarm series I'm gonna use no score streak so that means I can't use UAV counter UAV EMP or orbital VSAT and I have to get 30 kills in a row without dying with all the guns in black ops 2 that is gonna be a challenge man I tell you I mean I did the model one for three I got a mob with every gun in that game but that was only like you know 20 kills usually with every gun because once you got specialist bonus you got hardline so you know it, it was pretty easy getting the moab you know some guns i'm not gonna lie were pretty difficult to get especially when i put on a bunch of goofy attachments but other than that it was uh it was not easy so i am gonna expect this series to be pretty difficult i'll probably start working on it now but i'm not gonna start uploading them until after i finish the swarm with every gun because that would be kind of pointless because that's those series are gonna be way harder than these are so for now i'll just finish these out but uh, yeah guys thanks so much for watching this video i really do appreciate it we got over 5,000 likes on the last episode that that is just amazing
amazing. So keep being awesome, guys. I love you so much. You guys helped me out tons. And I uh, hope you guys have a wonderful and safe day. You can check out the other Swarm episodes down here below. You can just click on them. If you're new to the channel, you should subscribe. I upload lots of cool videos, so why not? Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good day. Goodbye.